is? Devin. Devin? Devin. Yeah, we met before. Yes. <laughs> I was like, do you like it? It's all Eyes of a New Citizens of Canada. The piece is called Fresh Eyes, and we're installing for the next two days here. Um, the, the title Fresh Eyes in reference, is reference to the, the value that diverse perspectives bring to decision making. And also kind of a short-term solution to the long-term problem of representation at City Hall. How long will the installation be here for? Should be, it'll be here for a month and it'll be officially launched on Pan Am Day, July 10th. July 10th? Yeah. At noon? Ah, uh, yeah, you should come by at noon, that'd be good. Around. So it'll stay here for a month into and the Simcoe piece, Day, August. Yeah, and the piece of the photographs are all by Che Kothari. Of course, from yeah. uh, Manifesto. Manifesto. Yeah. So there's a problem that you're bringing attention to. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's part of it. It's part of, part of it. It's part of it. It's a multi-dimensional thing. There's a lot of different depth to it. Part of it is. The idea of, of making Toronto well, this space more welcoming. Part of it is um, the idea of, of, of uh, sort of an ode to more diverse perspectives and decision making, um, and the value that brings to Toronto as far as innovation, as far as good ideas. There's definitely a lot of research and history around uh, closed versus open societies. Usually, when societies are more open and they're 
more inviting and they're including lots of different ideas and different kinds of people involved. And usually it's uh, um, lots of amazing things happen, lots of amazing science, lots of amazing, amazing arts and culture. Usually when societies close themselves off and start letting in new ideas, new people, then usually it's the, the, the end of a civilization. End of a civilization. Yeah, it's usually like it's usually one of the harbingers of like of of decline is when people sort of turn inwards. What motivated you to start thinking about these ideas, these concerns? Um, it's been sort of a, a, a long-term commitment. This, I think. Um, in my own family, I think there's a certain amount of, there's always been a commitment to, to welcoming newcomers. And that's sort of the overall theme of this this work. It's called arrivals.ca, is the overall name? Arrivals.ca yeah, is the website as well? Yeah, that's the website where you can go to okay. see all the, the progress shots. Um, and that is, sorry, where was I? I was talking about... How you oh, came yeah, up with yeah. this Oh, yeah, 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 it started off with this with a, a thing that's going to be in the Toronto Star starting on um, July 10th. And that's we're adding, we're adding an arrival section to the births and deaths. Uh, so right now there's a whole lot of deaths and so maybe one or two births usually. And so there's a huge, that's almost like a microcosmos for Canadian demographics as a whole. Uh, so we're adding a whole bunch of new arrivals, and that'll that'll balance out the larger. When you say arrivals, uh, you... new citizens to Canada, people that have got their citizenship in the past year. Well, this is a different question. Yeah. If we're talking about City Hall. Yeah. Residents of the city, long-time residents, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, may not choose uh -huh. to get Canadian citizenship. Yeah. And to use a word that's in the common conversation out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. They have been tax-paying residents of this city yeah, for they're... decades. Yeah, totally. Yeah. They would not be in this arrival because they're not citizens. They wouldn't be in the arrivals project because citizens. I'm a huge supporter of Desmond and One Vote, and I've been quite passionate about that for quite a while. I think I do. Now, think I know that... who Desmond is. There might be people who see okay. this and they don't I know do who Desmond is. I do believe that that landed residents should get should get the right to vote municipally. I think that's a good that's a good initiative. So can you just uh, clarify for a moment who Desmond is? I mean, I know who he is, but... <laughs> Desmond is an amazing, amazing human. Desmond the, Cole. Desmond Cole, one of the best people I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> and he has, uh, he had, a, he ran a project for a long time called One Vote. And that was around... Or is it I Vote? I Vote, sorry, I Vote, sorry. I Vote Toronto. Um, thanks for correcting me there. And it was around being the right for um, permanent residents to be able to vote in municipal elections. So, they will not be appearing in your arrivals.ca. Sorry, one second. Tell us a little bit more sure. about the arrivals sure. and who are they? So the, all the arrivals are new citizens to Canada uh, and they were all selected in conjunction with the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. Um, and we basically selected on four different criteria. One criteria was a gender balance, another criteria was 75% uh, of them from Pan American countries. There was also a strong arc as far in a lot of the stories as far as uh, overcoming struggle and then giving back to communities and also the idea of, of how networks in Toronto are really actually important for people to uh, settle um, and then uh, so those are the major four criteria and really each part there's like the large statement here but to really see people's individual stories uh, it's best to check in the Toronto Star starting on July 10th, uh, running for one month in the new uh, arrival section. And that's going to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays? Yep. You mentioned on July the 10th it'll be the Pan Am Day. Yep, yeah, the unveiling, yeah. With 75% or 
75 percent of, of the participants are from Pan American countries. So this will be going on not just for the month; it'll be into 2015. Uh, well, this is just a pilot project. This is like a the it's the first commission of the Pan Am Games of their arts and cultural programming. Okay. Yeah. So it's for many people, uh, the Trontonians were not really aware. It's the start. <laughs> right, so this is where it starts at, mm -hmm. uh, at the city hall. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I, I have to just tell you because this is how, as an artist, the first thing I saw yeah. was Big Brother. <laughs> I saw eyes looking down in an ominous, uh, and maybe that just speaks to. Does that really, do they really look ominous though? Look at that. Look at that person's eyes are so friendly. And that person's, I see a lot of warmth in this person's eyes. This person's looking out into the distance. Yeah. It's only four, five people up too. It's not, uh, I don't think, I think there's, I think there's, there's that I, I, the idea of watching, but if you, it's, in, the counselor is actually being watched a lot more than we are. So if you go inside one of their offices, it's a transparent uh, film basically. And so, uh, they are actually ha the idea is that they can actually look through the eyes of a new citizen, but the eyes are also looking at them. Yeah, it's a for, two from their perspective it's as well. It's a two-way thing. Yeah, that's it's a, it's a double-sided image. So. so that's got to be freaking them out. <laughs> I think I, I think it's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, when I was in there the other day, I liked it. I thought it was neat. It was almost like a stained glass window effect inside. Uh, now the mayor's office is that one. Yeah, and that's his uh, boardroom. Yeah. That, that's the boardroom, that's yeah. the eye. Um, have you had a conversation with the mayor's office? Uh, yeah, like, they, they approve the project, they, they like it, it's good. It's, like, it's, it's a fair amount of work getting everyone's permission for something like this size, but I had a really good team and a lot of councillors were really uh, supportive and okay. Well, as this is being installed, uh, how long is it taking per uh, councillor's office, per pair of eyes? Uh, it's about two hours, so it's going to take about three nights to do the whole thing. Three nights. So people, uh, if they see this, they're able to come and... Uh, it's, I think it'll be best to come and see it on the night of the 10th. I think that's going to be The our, night of the 10th. Yeah, the night of the July 10th. Okay. And during the day on the 10th as well, it's going to be pretty fun too. The square will be Pan Am Day, so that'll be a, a good event. Uh, so please say your name and the website again so people who are watching this can... My name is Devin Ostrom, and the website is arrivals.ca, and this is the first piece titled Fresh Eyes. Oh. Fresh Eyes, and they're beautiful. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> These are the eyes that are on the windows of Toronto Mayor Rob Ford's office. 